hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope all you will be fine and healthy uh, stay safe at home uh, today i'm going to discuss about the pump selection and uh, pump calculation how to calculate the uh, power of pump or how much uh, power you require to pump a liquid from one place to another so in pump calculation you just need three things one the flow rate second one is the specific gravity of the liquid with which liquid you are dealing with and third one is the uh, total dynamic head these three things are the most important things which you will need to calculate the pump uh, power so in pump powers there are two type of powers one is the mechanical power and second one is the electrical power so we will calculate both of them here we will start from the friction loss uh, what is friction loss friction loss is uh, necessary in uh, calculation of total dynamic head for total dynamic head you need two things one total static head which will be the building height like you are, you are pumping from ground floor to the uh, first floor or second floor so this height will be your static height and second uh, third uh, second one is the uh, dynamic head dynamic head is actually the total losses in your pipes in your fittings like elbow t uh, valves unions and uh, so first we will start to calculate the total dynamic head so total dynamic head you just need this table uh, you can use uh, other tables there are a lot of friction loss tables available on internet uh, i am using this one this is the very simple one here you can see the one by two inches of uh, pipe dia uh, having elbow like your pipe is traveling uh, and it has uh, three elbows so you just to multiply 1.5 multiply by 3 so this will be the total uh, losses in your elbows and same for the other 45 degree elbow t's so you have just to multiply these figures uh, depending on the pipe sizes and just note it down like I noted down with myself I just created this simple Excel sheet for uh, my office work here is uh, I'm using uh, one one or four inches of pipe having 76 feet of loss this these units are in feet uh, an elbow have same size one one or four it has 18.5 and T has 7.8 union has 8 and valve has 2 from where I did calculate this, I just calculate this from this table, like 1, 1 or 4, have 3.7, I have 5 elbows, so 5 multiplied by 3, if you have 6 elbow, 6 multiplied by 3.7, and so on. And same for the gate valves, glow valves, and angle valves. Now, main concern is pipe length. If you have 100 feet of length, so I have uh, below 100 feet, 95 something, uh, and I need 60 pounds of pressure in my pipe. So here you can see 1, 1 or 4 and 60 pounds, there is 76 feet of head loss. So you have just noted down all of these pipe head loss, elbow head loss, T head loss and cal uh, calculate it by adding these losses these losses will be your dynamic head and for total dynamic head you need two things one is static head and second one is the dynamic head or the fitting losses total fitting losses so this uh, just add up these fitting losses and you will get the some value and uh, add this total losses with the static loss like building height is 12 feet 20 feet 100 feet 
so add both of them you will get the static head uh, and the adding both of these static head and the fitting losses you will get the total dynamic head here you can see the total dynamic head in my case is 362.3 feet these all uh, losses are in feet and I needed 30 gallons per minute of flow rate what is the equation to solve this equation is simple one here just multiply the total dynamic head with the flow rate these units must be in US customer units that is gallons per minute feet and blah blah b1 is your total dynamic head multiplied by b2 is your flow rate and multiply by one one is your specific gravity if you are dealing with water it's one if you are dealing with oil it's may depend on its properties if it may be a petrol it, it may be a any fluid here just put the specific gravity and divided by 3960 and you will get the power of pump that this is the mechanical power of pump which you will get and main thing we need is the electrical power how much uh, power is required electrical power is required to pump this fluid in this situation so I am using three phase uh, motor three phase motor is uh, efficient as compared to first uh, single phase uh, for this you just need to divide the mechanical power by efficiency so my power pump efficiency is uh, sorry my motor efficiency is 0 0.8 I mean 80 percent so I just divide this by 0 0.8 and I get this result 3.43 HP and you can also add 1.5 percent of factor of safety uh, so it will be round about 4 HP of pump so you will need a 4 HP of pump to pump the chilled water or any other water any other fluid same calculation is used for the chilled water pumping like primary pump secondary pump but the criteria is just different for the uh, suction and discharge like uh, I have just calculated this in suction uh, sorry discharge line because uh, the suction uh, there is no suction line this is the submersible pump uh, if you have a centrifugal pump so there must be a suction line you have just calculated the suction line static head dynamic head losses and total uh, then uh, add up this suction uh, pipe uh, head losses and its total dynamic head with the discharge pipe uh, total losses and or you may call a total dynamic head add both of these you will get the total dynamic head and how much flow rate you need so just calculate this and if you need this excel sheet uh, kindly uh, comment your email i will share the information about this so thank you uh, for watching my video uh, next time i will uh, share the uh, drawings so this uh, total lockdown uh, as i told you i have no computer here uh, next time i will share the uh, results of uh, pipe and i will show them on your on the drawings in autocad or some other softwares uh, to clarify the results Thank you.